In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest way to generate captions for your Reels in DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you're using the studio version, this video is not for you. You can literally go right there in the studio version and they have this built-in capability to generate captions. But I'm going to show you how to create captions, how to generate captions even with the free version. So for this, we're going to use this plugin called Auto Subs, And this is the website, as you can see on your screen. What you can do is go over to the link in the description. I have this link in the description. You can click on it and go over to this GitHub page. From here, you can just download this plugin. I'm using the Windows one, so I downloaded this one. So this is just simple click download and you will have this file. And once you have that, you can just go and follow the process. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to show you the entire process. What I did was I downloaded the plugin and I closed DaVinci Resolve, I installed it, and then I opened up DaVinci. So right here, I have this reel and I need to generate captions for it. Now, we already have the plugin installed in. The next thing we need to do is go over to the effects and from here you can just drag in this text plus now make sure you only drag in the text plus or any other fusion titles that you see right here but don't use the simple one the simple text one and one other thing is you can do the same thing by using any different packs text packs for davinci resolve and for example i have this text pack right there real captions pack volume one you can go ahead over to my patreon to download this and you will get like 10 different real captions for your edits now what you can do is if you have downloaded it you can just double click on it and this will install and this will open up DaVinci Resolve for you if it is already closed but if it is already open you just need to double click it that's it and click on install and right here you can notice this is my real caption pack so the same thing you can do with text plus you can do with this caption pack as well so you can see there are many different styles of captions right here what you can do is just drag in any of them and any other plug this is the reason i'm showing you this is so because this is going to work for any different caption pack that you have or text pack that you have that you download from any other place so this is the reason why i'm showing you but right now just drag in this one this uh, zero one and you can just change the settings if you want to but i'm just going with the default settings for now Go over to the media pool now and just drag this back in and this will create like a copy a fusion composition for you now once you have that you can just delete this from the timeline this text that we just had on the timeline we just need to add it to the media section of our page now once we have that done go right here over to workspace and then go over to scripts and then click on auto subs v2 and this will open up the plugin that we just downloaded so Right here, you will notice that we have this subtitle template and this is the one that will be visible. So this uh, 01 plain real caption one that we just dragged in, this is showing right here. And of course, you can even go over and drag that text that we already had. So the one right here in the titles, this text plus, you can even go ahead and drag this in just to show you that you need to drag these in so that this will be shown right here in the subtitle templates. So this text plus, as you can see, this is visible now. But we're going to go ahead and use this real caption one that we just downloaded. And this is the track to place subtitles. So right here on your timeline this is showing where to place those subtitles after they are generated. So right here on video two, this will be placed in. You can change it, of course. Now, if you scroll down, you will notice where the track input is. So we're using the audio one. We're using the English language. You can, of course, do this for other languages as well. And this transcribe right here, this is set at 10 words per line and 20 characters per line. And right here, make sure to use this recommended one because this is work, This works the best, in my opinion. And right here, there are some more settings like the text formatting. So we have like the uppercase, lowercase, and many different effects right here that you want, that you can add, like filters that you can add. So once you're satisfied with where you want this to be, you can just click on this. And then this will, first of all, export the audio. So this will just be the audio that will be exported. Don't worry about it because after this has been exported, you will be able to see that the subtitles will get generated on the screen. So let me just wait and we'll just fast forward it. All right, so here you will notice we have these captions generated on our timeline. So now you can just close this and here is the final version of how the text captions look. Now you will notice that there might be some mistakes. So for example, we have the some of the text going outside the screen and we don't want that. Now, there are two ways to 
connect this. The first one is to just go over to any of this, like for example, this one right here, the cinematography, this is going out this, outside the screen. So you can first like reduce the size. So this is one way to do that, to adjust it according to how you have it. Or you can go back and create, generate this once again, but this time you can use like five words per line and then 10 characters per line. So that this depends on you, your preference. So this is the second way of doing it, to generate it again, but making sure that you have five words per second or five per words per line or 10 words per line, depending on how you want this to be. Or there is another way. What you can do is, first of all, let me just close this and delete all our captions. And now I'm just going to drag this text again on our timeline. This time, let's go with the second one. So let's drag in the second. This is how it looks. And what we're going to do is right here, you can go ahead and change the settings. So this is the caption pack that I have where you can, of course, change settings according to how you want this to be. You can change the size, you can change the color, you can change the font, all those things you can do right here before you start to generate it. So you can set where you want this to be and then you can also set where you want the words to appear. So for example, at five words per line or 10 words per line, seven words per line, that's up to you. So these are the two things that you can use to, first of all, make sure you're okay with the captions that you have. Then you, what you can do is go over to this toolbox and right here, you can also search for stroke. So you will get this outer stroke, which you can also drag in. So for example, you want to add outer stroke. Now in the back, I did not include any strokes, but you can do that the way that I'm showing you by dragging this outer stroke fusion effect in on your text and then going over to, for example, right here where it says, border width and you can just decrease this increase this depending on how you want this to be first of all change the color you can change it to black and you can reduce the shadow if you want to or you can just simply change it to zero the blend to zero if you don't even want this so there are different settings that you can now do with it so this is the customization that i was talking about and then we are having this border width color even you can go with any different color you want that you want but again, like these are all the settings that you can do. So this is how it's going to look like. So once you're satisfied with it, you can just drag this back in on the media section. And now we can go back over to workspace, go over to scripts and go over to auto subs V2. And from here, we can just select our template now, this 02. And then what you can do is make sure the words are at five and character lines, characters per line are at 10. So these are the different settings that you can do. And now once we, click on start processing. What this will happen is, again, this will generate new captions for you based on all the settings that we just made. So let's just wait and see the final result. All right, so the process has been completed. We have these new captions generated on our timeline. So now let's go ahead and play this and see how this looks. Nobody talks about the editor. People remember the actors, the cinematography, the music, but the pers person who pieces it all together, they're invisible. All right, so here you can see we have this now much better. Everything is within the screen. All the settings were exactly how we wanted them to be. So this is the fastest way to generate captions for your reels using DaVinci Resolve. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one.